In this video, we'll learn how to set the country boundaries of the world for a given year using the C-Shapes dataset. The C-Shapes dataset contains information on how the borders of the different countries have evolved um, since 1945. First, let's have a look at the attribute table. For that, click right on the C-Shape file and click on Attribute Table from the drop-down menu. We can see that the dataset is composed of 255 polygons. By sorting the attribute table um, by country name, we can see that several countries appear more than once. For instance, if we take Germany, Germany has three polygons, two polygons indicating how Germany looked like during the Soviet era, and one polygon representing Germany as we know it now. Two columns are of interest for us. Code here, which indicates the start year of the border represented by the polygon. And code year, the end year of the border. To select the borders for a given year, we need to do a selection by attributes. For that, you have to click on Select by Attributes, which is located in the Map section of ArcGIS Pro. you will see a dialog box open. Make sure the C-shape file is selected, that new selection is selected, and then click on SQL to make your expression. For instance, suppose I'm interested in the borders established before or in 1980, and that ended uh, after or in 1980. I would just need to write cos year lower or equal to 1980 and cos year more than or equal to 1980. Click on Verify the SQL expression is valid. If it indicates that the SQL expression is valid, you can run your expression. The selected borders are shown in light blue on the map, whereas the grey borders, the unselected one, are borders that exist today but didn't in 1980. By looking at the attribute table once again, we can see that 156 polygons are selected. If you want to make a permanent layer of the world as it looked like in 1980, you only have to click right on the file, C shape file, data from the drop down menu, and export feature. 